To politics now and Republican efforts to both curb the power of social media companies and to tighten voting laws. Both of those efforts are now playing out in Florida, where the governor is poised to sign two controversial bills into law. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze is in Washington with more. Good morning to you, Elizabeth. Good morning, Eva. Well, both of these bills were just passed by Florida's Republican-led legislature and now await the governor's signature. One of them would make Florida the first state to punish tech companies if they try to censor politicians. This morning, Republicans in Florida flexing their muscles in a pair of controversial bills set to become law. The first taking a swing at big tech, imposing fines of up to $250,000 a day against social media companies like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube if they ban politicians from their platforms. Like former President Trump, who was banned for inciting violence in the wake of the January 6th Capitol attack. The bill is expected to be signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis, a close Trump ally. And Republicans insist it's about maintaining free speech. What this bill really does is send a clear message to Silicon Valley that they are not the arbiters of truth. But critics say the bill will result in more harmful content spreading online. This will actually cause platforms and websites to take their hands off the controls and dial back the, the moderation and leave up a lot more extremist and sensational content that they otherwise would have removed. And now Governor DeSantis is already setting his sights on another bill, which tightens restrictions on voting. It adds new rules to vote by mail, like stricter ID requirements, and limits ballot drop boxes. Republicans say the legislation will make voting more secure. But opponents are calling it part of a broader nationwide effort by GOP legislators to suppress turnout. I don't think these Republican legislatures are passing these laws because they will stop Republicans from voting. They're passing these laws because they make it harder for younger people, for people of color, for poorer people to vote. Now, prominent Georgia-based companies like Coca-Cola and Delta Airlines spoke out against the state's election law after fierce public backlash. The question now is if Florida businesses will take a similar stand on this new bill. Wit. Elizabeth Schulze, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.